Hi friends, today I'm joining in hashtag stamp play along with hashtag stamping Sunday, two open stamp collabs that you're welcome to join in. I host stamp play and then stamping Sunday is hosted by Thelma Hall and Crafting by the Pond. And of course, I will link their channels in my description box. Today for my project, I used this pack of rubber stamps from Santoro. These are the gorgeous girls. These are so cute. They're the little circles and they each have different sentiments. A little love, jar of hearts. They're just so cute. And then I used this sweet girl. She's a gorgeous girl. And she is number 37 and it says, Dear Apple. I used this one, another gorgeous girl, number 71, My Own Universe. And then lastly, I used this one, number 16, Who Knows. They're all adorable. Oh my goodness. So those are the stamps I played with today. And then I found on the clearance rack, a pack of 50 color CD sleeves. And at first I wasn't gonna get them and I thought, oh, I think these would be fun. This is what they look like. They're very paper thin, but I thought these would be fun to make maybe some pockets. So as far as the stamping, here's the cute little girl stamped out. Let's see, this one is the Who Knows should have done this first for you. And then there's this one with the stars. And then this one, which is, it's hard to tell, but she's holding an apple. So what I did is I, I stamped them all out like that, but then I took the CD sleeve and I stamped on the back. And then inside I put a piece of card stock to, just to make it sturdier. And then I put the stamped image in there. And then on the corners, two of the corners is where I used the cute little circle stamps and then added a little bit of appliques. I wanted to keep it flat and not too bulky, but my thought process was these would be so fun. So you've got this girl and then to, um, you know, like include the other ones and you could send it in happy mail. You could share your stamped images and then I created another one. But did the same thing on all of them. So she's stamped on the back. Then I did two yellow ones. And this is that real pretty paper I used last week for my paper doll. It was on my table, so I thought I'll put that in there. And then she's stamped on the back. And then a second one of the same star girl. And she's stamped on the back. They were so much fun. I could just go on and on and on and on. I hope, you know, adding this makes it a little bit bulky. And I was trying to avoid that. But I was trying to make them a little cutesy. You could put trims or you didn't even have to put anything on them. But they're cute. You know, they are a pocket. And I don't know if you could, you want to keep it somewhat flat. Maybe you could put a T in there. Or just a bunch of stamped images to send to your friends. So this was my stamping today. I had a lot of fun and I could keep going on and on and on. I love pockets. I don't know, it's just fun. But my thought was that way, you know, a bunch of, we don't all have the same stamps. Then you're sharing some images and they can do the coloring if they want to color, unless they choose not to. You can put trim through here. You could ink these up. Um, I just thought it would be fun, flat, happy mail packages. So. Thank you so much, friends, for stopping by today. Um, I do still have to pick a winner on my open giveaway for that willow stamp. I have not done that yet, so that'll be in another video. I haven't closed it out yet, so if you haven't left a comment, please feel free to do so before I hit closed, um, at least, you know, in the next day or two. Um, I should be wrapping that up, so big hugs, friends. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Bye, friends.